Hi, welcome to the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Potato. The show we talk about things that are happening right here, right now, as well as general news, tips, information, advice. I'm delighted today. Pete, how you doing, my man? I'm good, mate, yeah. Pete's yeah. in the house. He's in the house. So good. Nice to see you guys. What I want to do today is, Pete's very kindly come onto the channel because I do get a lot of people sending me messages saying, Trev, you know, I'm partially disabled, I'm disabled, how will I get around, you know, how will the girls interact with me? Now, he's not only been here once, he's been here four times this year. Yeah. So yeah. what I want to do is I want to talk about issues that you face or don't face and just overcome that. But before yeah. we talk about that, I just want to ask you, where are you from originally? Uh, I'm from Holland, the UK. Okay, cool. Yeah. And when did you first come out of Thailand? Uh, I come out last Christmas, so pretty much a year, pretty much to the day, really. Yeah, okay, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. did you enjoy it? Was it good fun? Loved, loved it. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. smile says, oh, yeah, I loved it. it. Yeah, it's just, it, it's just, there's nowhere else. I mean, I travel around the world. Uh, I'm a software engineer by trade. Yeah. Uh, I've been everywhere, but there's Brilliant. nowhere like uh, Thailand, Pattaya. It's just, yeah, it's something different. Everyone's welcome. Yeah. Everyone's welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what I want to ask you is obviously you're wheelchair bound. Yeah. Um, may I ask, what happened? How did you become wheelchair? So I was uh, I was born paralyzed on one side. Okay. Um, for the first 24 hours of pretty much being born, um, and then um, they they found that there's all sorts of stories of what happened. And the uh, cut long story short, uh, come to my brother being born, which I was my mum's second child. Yeah. Uh, there was no record of record of me being born. Wow. So uh, back in the 80s, you know, it was uh, all hushers pushing the carpet, get rid of that, you know. Um, so obviously there was some sort of mistake there. Um, but it's never stopped me. Um, so ever since you've been born, you've been paralyzed? No, no. I uh, Up to the, uh, about four years old, I started walking. I mean, so for, for, for a child of eight or four years old, it's a long time to, yeah. to be able to start. So what well, I mean, I'm my grandchild now, and she's she's just turned one a couple of months ago, and she's like she walks better than <laughs> I do ever did. Yeah, uh, we'll uh, catch yeah, her up. Come yeah, back, come yeah, back, because she runs after me and all sorts. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and 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 you know, as 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 I got older and older, uh, in, into my late teens, my my uh, really really bad problems. Yeah, eventually, what they call a lumbar spine, the basin spine, my uh, it's collapsed. Wow. So there's nothing we can do. Um, but it hasn't stopped you traveling, has it? I love traveling. I love seeing the world. This seeing... is the thing I love about what you do is because, you know, many people are selling, but we, we have no understanding of your day-to-day -day life, how yeah. you overcome lots of things that we just take for granted. And yet you travel and travel and travel and travel. Yeah. I, I work to travel. I absolutely love seeing the world. I've worked all over the world as a software engineer. Yeah. Um, I, I, I actually lecture uh guys in india to be software engineers for yeah. uh for the world banks uh and now i just i just get about and i mean yeah. thailand's like my go-to place just so before you came to Mateo, thailand were you uh, did you have any reservations do you think well i wonder how i'm going to get on i wonder how they're going to accept me and what... yeah yeah um i have a, a really good friend who is an english teacher here okay um and it, it, and before he become an English teacher, he was a bit like me, come over quite often and uh, enjoyed sort of like coming over to Thailand. Uh, and he kept saying, "Oh, get yourself to Thailand, get yourself to Thailand." And, oh, I will, I will. And I sort of kind of put it off, mm -hmm. but obviously for those reasons, you know, yeah. it's like, oh, what am I going to do? A lot of people said very hard curves, you know. I mean, now when I worked in India and so on, I walked wheelchair bound, so right. Um, so that was a bit different then. Is so that, how long have you been wheelchair? Uh, about eight years now. Eight years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when that happened, in your mind, I mean, how, how difficult was that to accept and to try and overcome? I'm lucky to be here, to be honest. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I, I yeah, I mean, I, I can't imagine what goes through your mind when that situation is. It I had a, a multiple of things. Um, I had uh, a breakup with my, uh, well, right, just prior to that, I had a breakup with my, um, my, my marriage yeah um i couldn't see my children oh. uh, i've got two girls I, I lost my job um just yeah yeah i don't want to think back now yeah. to, to where i was then it was but that was eight years ago and eight years ago obviously it would have really chunked into yeah yeah, yeah yeah now you you know when I see you, you never stop smiling. You're happy. You're so positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's one of those things you've got to 
there's two ways you can go. It's the way I went, or the other way is to go that way. Yeah. Uh, and I, I just woke up one day, and then, don't get me wrong, I went that way for so long. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, and, um, yeah, I just, I went up now, and it's like, you know, I have a, that's it, boxer back in the UK now. Yeah. Um, I drive a car. Yeah. I drive with my hands. Yeah. Um, I come out to, I come to Thailand. I, I travel, all of it, I just love traveling. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, do you have any worries when you come here, like about how you're going to get around into like this hotel? Do you have to? Do you have problems finding a hotel that can adapt to? to, to, uh, to not, you? not so much now because, uh, like this particular area, I know quite well now. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I've been many a times now, and I know, I know lots of people. I know the majority of that. I tend to stay in the same hotel all the time. Yeah. But the hotel, I have an adapted room. It's got a big shower room. Wow. Um, yeah, you know, it's just like being at home, really. Yeah. You know, it's it's fantastic. So yeah. the question has to be, you you you're obviously you know you, you wander around the city day after day after day. I know the answer before I even ask me. What's the worst road? It's got to be <laughs> typhoon. Got to be oh, definitely. <laughs> it's treacherous. <laughs> it, it's like anyone's going to dare this. It's like I won't mind, but today, like now, I'm not even in my proper normal chair. Yeah. Uh, normally, I have a proper active wheelchair. Yeah. Um. So anybody back at home uh, that's wheelchair bound will know exactly what I mean. Uh, my my active wheelchair, I can pull it, push it everywhere. Right. This is been quite clunky, and like three or four days before I was due to come out here, um, one of the big welds in the chair snapped. Oh no! And uh, I'll share a photo with you. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, it was a write off. They can't. Re they won't repair it. I got you. Um, these things are custom made. Right. So. It, it's not like they can just go get one off the shelf and like give you a new one. Yeah, they're gonna make sure. So got, yeah, yeah. So I've got a new one on order, but like to get me out, like for the time now, yeah, I've got this thing and it's just it's okay. It's but it's not kind of yeah. lightweight, but it's not what I'm used to. Yeah. So yeah. So you, I mean, obviously around the city, one of the things that I mentioned many, many times is the traffic and about facing all kind of traffic and about yeah. the danger of the traffic. Yeah. You know, the riding around here, we all know it's it's very very. Oh, challenging let's call it yeah yeah i mean when you're out and about on the roads i mean do you, do you have to worry about all that kind of stuff i mean to be yeah i mean but i wouldn't say any more than what i would do anywhere else okay. um you, you, you've got to be mindful obviously you know yeah. thailand's it, it traffic's a bit crazy but you know it isn't i wouldn't say it's any worse than anywhere else really you just well, got you to... said you mentioned india so i mean i know india it, india was crazy yeah. I, I i spent 18 months in bangalore did you and bangalore is like london and acid <laughs> um it, it's just nuts um one difference between here and uh in india and um, particularly uh bangalore there's no home law Oh, right. Hey, oh, that is just constant. They yeah. just load the home for no reason at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's just constant every like 10 seconds really? it, and 24 hour a day. So if you're, you're, if you ever go to India, um, try and stay a book or a hotel that is away from a main road because yeah. like it is just absolutely nuts. Yeah. I mean, I've stayed in Goa. I had a fantastic time down there. But... See, Goa, I, I actually don't class Goa as India. Well, I was just going to say it's a very heavily tourist it, it's it's a Portuguese colony. Oh wow! Well, I haven't been there for all oh, twenty five years, maybe thirty. So years. majority majority of the population of living population in Goa are actually Portuguese. They're I not Indian. That. Wow, I never knew that. Yeah, and it's the same with when people say you go back home and put, you, uh, you dial up a curry. You know, I'm getting a curry from it. I'm getting an Indian curry. No, I must admit when I went to Goa. First thing I asked, can I get a chicken vindaloo, please? And he was just like, that's an English dish. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Vindaloo is in India. I get it all the time. Yeah, like, no, it, no, exactly. Good. Yeah, I mean, you know, like I was saying, go back to what I was saying about the, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, Goa. Yeah. You go over there and you'd say, uh, you know, I, I, there's so many different dialects. Wow. So where I was in Connecticut, uh, which is the actual county where, um, where Bangalore sits. Okay. Um, you can go from one side to the other in four to five minutes and they speak totally different dialects. Wow. wow. So I learned how to speak Canada, which is a local dialect, yeah. and how to order, obviously, the most important thing, order a beer. Yeah. Uh, Talking of beers here, how do you go in the bars? Are you okay? 
yeah, I, I, I don't have any problems, to be honest. I mean, the people out here are absolutely fantastic. Um, majority of places where I go nowadays, obviously, because I know so many people out here, I tend to sort of stick to the same sort of places. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, the people are so helpful. I mean, you know, not just the, just the, 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 you've got the guards on, like, you know, your nightclubs. And I'm not really a nightclub guy. I'm getting on a bit, so, you know. <laughs> So come, oh, all... come one o'clock, I've, I've had enough, you know. Yeah, I can't do the six o'clock in the morning. That's hardcore, mate. I'm in bed by I, I can't do that. <laughs> it kills me. It kills me. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't really have any problems with, like, you know, majority of the places. And it's, it's, to be honest, on a trip to trip, I know it's getting better and better and better. The majority of places have got you know, ramp access. Uh, although we wouldn't necessary call them ramps they're a bit more uh obstacle right um but we're a bit of a uh yeah we're, we're a bit a bit of a hand yeah we manage it yeah yeah, yeah. i mean in terms of access i mean not i look at our plan and we don't have ramps is that something you think we should look at as, as a whole in general because you know ultimately you guys are trying to get around we take a bright light step up and go in doesn't matter yeah it's not as easy i mean do you see there a lean towards more of access of all the bars here now and they sort of Moving yeah, they seem to be going that way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's quite a, a big community of wheelchair users in the entire. Yeah. Uh, we spoke about it the other day on yeah. my channel. Um, there, there, there is a big community out here, and 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 I think that's a good positive way of going for any business owner to be able to just. It costs nothing to put a you know a couple of planks of wood down and a bit of something over it just to so that it just eases rather than it needing sort of pushing. We could just do it ourselves. Yeah, you know, it, it, it and it, it doesn't sound a lot to nor, a normal able body, but to us, you know, I see a ramp and I think, right, I'm going there. Well, I guess the other side of the coin as well, and forgive me if I get you wrong, but for me, I think if I was in a wheelchair, I wouldn't want to keep asking people to help me, I just want to get on with myself. There is that part of it, but I, I, I think when you get to that stage, well, I mean, I've been in my chair for such a long time now yeah. that you know, like coming out to a place like uh, Thailand, you kind of You've got no choice. You want to be in one certain place. If you've got friends, you meet certain people at a certain time. You've got to ask. There's, there's no yeah, way no. around it, you yeah. know. It's but there is places where I think I'm not bothered. You know, I'm not bothered going in there. But but then that I suppose that has a detrimental effect, effect to that business. Yeah, they might go in there and then I'll, I might bring the lads and say, I mean, so so you come to meet us. Yeah, how do you go with taxis? Tax brilliant. I, I use a um, I use a taxi. Uh, I book a private taxi from uh, Swanigami, uh Bangkok Airport, yeah. straight down to, to Pattaya. Oh, okay. um, I book the same company every single time. Um, you know, boss taxi, brilliant. Um, there you go, guys. Boss, boss taxi. Um, I'll give a link to um, to Trevor. And, you know, I'm sure of Britain. Yeah, we'll uh, they're, they're brilliant. Uh, that they, they step as soon as I come out of, uh, you know. Uh, controlled area in the airport there's um someone there with my name on the plaque yeah um he takes my case he goes and gets gets his taxi by the time i got my set up out you, you hit that heat wave uh which, never forget the heat yeah, wave, the heat wave never is, that. Like, even at four o'clock in the morning yeah. it's like poof. yeah you never forget it, it. Yeah, yeah yeah you walk off you're like quick get away from the airplane it's too hot and then you realize it's actually not the airplane it's actually the the, the client yeah, so, yeah 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 even that stupid hours in the morning oh, yeah, yeah 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 you mentioned about your channel now uh guys what pete's got is he's got a youtube channel and we're going to discuss that now but it's mainly geared and aimed at people that are uh, in wheelchairs and that yeah. it just really explains to show you that you know there is nothing to worry about life goes on you can crack on like Pete said here what's your channel called brother? it's pirate pete's channel pirate, pirate pete's travels why pirate right okay so many 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 moons ago when i was at university i was a dj i was still still do a little bit now yeah every now and then um but i was working for a guy back in my hometown uh which i've worked for years uh and I was actually flogging pirate DVDs. <laughs> and cut long story short, I sell them in the pub. He nicknamed me Pirate Pete. And being a DJ, <laughs> it was DJ Pirate Pete. And the name's just stuck. Brilliant. So, yeah. Brilliant. So your channel, where, where's the stage of it right now? Where is it? Right, so there's no content really at the moment. Okay. I admit this trip really is about getting content. Yeah. Um, I, I've got quite a bit of content now. So I, I get back home. I've uh, got a lot of editing to do. I mean, we did a, a, yeah, we did a chat the, uh, the, yeah. the, the other week. Uh, so, 
probably one of going to be one of the main first things that's going to go on there, to be honest. Right. Um, so at the moment, every day I've got content, it's just, it's a whole new ball game to me. Uh, I'm a software engineer by trade, but video editing is just like, yeah, yeah it's something different. Oh, it's taken me years and years and years. Yeah, yeah, I use yeah. Premiere Pro, and although there is one out now, um, CapCut, which is, I, I wish it was out 10 years ago yeah. when I was editing. Yeah. It's so fast and so easy, but yeah, Premiere Pro. But like people, this is the thing that people don't appreciate. They see these videos, they think, oh, that's easy. They just whack the video out. It's We're not going to edit at all. So no. much to do. So the much. editing takes more time than the actual recording of the video. Yeah. Um, and there's so much more to it. It's unbelievable. But I'm so grateful that I have um, probably a handful of, of the top YouTubers here in Pattaya, um, um, including yourself, who have really, really sort of offered for that the help of, yeah. and I've done an interview with pretty much all of you, Yeah, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a nice community. It's, uh, it's amazing, yeah, yeah, yeah. People seem to think there's this rivalry between us. There's no it's rivalry. Not, between, no. You know. We all banter between each other on the on the YouTube channels, and we all kind of call each other in and so on, but there's no real rivalry, really. No, I'm uh, friends with everyone, man. Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. So in terms of your channel, it's about traveling. Where, where's your, your project next where you're going to, once you go back, Doing all your editing, where's your next port? Well, primarily is Thailand. I mean, Thailand's my it's my go to area. Yeah. Um, I, I, I love the place, I love the people, the food. I'm a big foodie, massive foodie. What's your favorite Thai dish? Don't say steak. Uh, have, you got, have you got a list long enough? <laughs> <laughs> I just love all Thai yeah. food, everything hot, spicy. Yeah, um, but even things that are not particularly hot and spicy. I just get the condiments and make them hot and spicy, yeah. you know, and, and that's what I love about Thai food. People think that like, when you come out to Thailand, you, 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 you eat food and you get Thai food, people just instantly think it's all hot and spicy. It's not. No, it's not. Yeah. Um, you, you, you might get Pad Thai, uh, which is one of my favourite dishes. Yeah. Pad Thai particularly is not hot and spicy, but if you add the condiments to it, it can blow you know, yeah. off. <laughs> um, and I love that, yeah. and that's what I do. That's you know, I, I bang on all, all the dry chili, I bang on all the uh, fish sauce, which fish sauce just amplifies anything that you put onto it. So, yeah. you know, yeah, it's oh, fantastic. Thai food to me. Oh, I yeah, love yeah. Thai food. But it's it, and one thing I always find out I actually lose weight, right? Being in Thailand, not because I, I mean, obviously, I do a lot of exercise, yeah, now. I'm pushing myself yeah. around all day, every day, but. I find Thai food as much as it, um, when you look at it, you think, oh, it's all fried. A lot of it's fried, a lot of it's like noodles. So it's a lot of carbohydrates, um, you know, a lot of heavy fats. Yeah. But yeah. actually, the majority of Thai food, if you actually look at it, is really, really healthy. Yeah, it's nice. I love it. I love it. Love Thai so food. I'm going to pull your details to your channel. Guys, please, you know, pop over to Peach Channel, have a look at it, guys. It, you know, I admire Peter because he's in a situation that fortunately I'm not in. And I just admire how strong-minded you are, how, you know, you get around. I often see you, you know, around the city when I'm walking about, and I'm like, oh, let's be over there. You know, I think one of the things that I want this message to be is that, guys, you know, if you are in a similar situation, be or you've got any hesitation, any issues, any worries, you know, please, you know, pop over to his channel and ask the questions, guys. You know, you've got a guy sat here that does it on a day-to-day -day basis, has done it for many years, it's come out four times this year already. There is nothing to worry about, guys. Please get yourself out here. And, and by all means, uh, I'll, I'll leave a, a contact uh, email address in uh, with Trevor. Uh, if you've got any worries, because um, a lot of, what, one of the big questions is like, how do I get on an airplane? And then there will be a vlog about that. But, but the big problem I've got at the moment is trying to get an airline that will uh coincide with what right. i want to do because uh, it's quite a big job i mean what people don't realize is like getting content of, of about something like that mm -hmm. takes time yeah uh, we might have to do other several trips you know to get the right content to be able to show people how i actually get on and off i mean, i i'm totally uh i'm paraplegic so you know i i i can't uh get just walk onto an aircraft um I have to be taken, I actually go onto the aircraft in my normal chair, and then I we use what we call a, an aisle chair, and the aisle chair I scoop onto, which will take me to the road that I'm in, yeah. and then I have to scoop across. But a lot of things people know is like, um, there is uh, accessible toilets in aircraft these days. Um, you know, I mean, shout out, big shout out to Emirates. Emirates are an amazing airline. You pay a premium, don't get me wrong, but
but everything is there you know i can be sat uh up front they know exactly who i am when i'm on the aircraft if i need anything i press a buzzer and there's no questions asked if i need to go to the uh to the toilet i press a buzzer i tell one of the air and they will bring the air even mid-air they will bring the owl chair to me it's there it's everything is there for us and a lot of people don't realize that well there you go so that's the kind of information that if you are looking for you know follow peace channel yeah everything's on the, gonna be on the channel in Brilliant. time obviously content takes time as you know yeah. and, uh, these things are not like overnight things that we yeah. can just record yeah. we, the recording is the easy part yeah. it's the editing and you know and it does we got that to look forward to you got yeah it takes a long time brilliant yeah. Pete, it's been an absolute pleasure been an absolute pleasure Anytime. thank you very much yeah, yeah guys you know like i say check out pete's channel brilliant. pirate pete pirate pete's channel uh, pirate pete's travels pirate pete's travels there will be a link in the description below so don't worry click on that have a jump over there and uh, go and give this guy some support because uh, I absolutely admire the fact that he's so positive and does what he does. All right, so that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. It's just a slightly different angle, just something to talk about, slightly different, maybe things we take for granted. Now, maybe you'll see things in a slightly different view and, uh, you know, have a look at that. All right, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Please, as always, remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. If you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video, have a look on our Discord. Our Discord's got over 17,000 members in there. So you strength and stress. Check it out, guys. Totally free of charge. Doesn't cost you a single penny. Have a look on our Instagram and our TikTok. Check me out. I'm TikToking and I've got over 17,000 followers now. It's unbelievable on TikTok. But check it out, guys. Little short 30 second snippets, just showing you little highlights of what's going on here in the city. And it's a great way of just flicking through and think, oh, I see that. And oh, I see that. And that's that. And if you'd like to support the channel, have a look at our website, our new website, fuzzlesand.com. I have a look on there, guys, and your support is much appreciated. All right, that's it for me. That's it for Pete. Thank you very much for watching. Please, as always, wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe. Cheers, guys.